Hey everyone! I decided to restart my blog, but this time it's going to be a little bit more focused on my writing process and the way that I approach my work. To get started, I'm talking about Hypsopia. When I started writing back when I was a lot younger, I basically refabricated ideas that other authors had already done. Um, they influenced me and in the way that I thought about the world, and I wanted to emulate that in my own style. There's something to be said about learning from those that you respect, but then bringing it and making it your own. Then also creating something new from that. I'm talking about Hypsopia because this, in particular, started as a tweet. One of my favorite authors, Courtney Summers, uh, wrote about how there's no hipster dystopian novels, and I took it as kind of a personal challenge because it was almost like she was challenging someone out there to go and, and create this. I thought, why not? I love dystopian novels and it could just be a really fun way to get my feet wet. I figured I can make this, I can draw on a lot of my own personal experiences and kind of create a, a new novella. It's short. I set it in Los Angeles where I lived for five years. I included some personal things that I kind of went through and um, little pieces of my life that I could contribute to a hipster uprising in LA. So thus the world of the uprising was born. Hipstopia is a little bit of insta-love, a lot of hipsters, a lot of dystopian, and a proof that no utopia is without fault. You can check it out. It also has a sequel, which I'll talk about in the next vlog.